At just eight years of age, Mohan Singh Guran took over his family farm when his father passed away. I had to look after the family. I had elder sisters, mother and elder brother. So I worked here and I didn't want to go abroad, so I stayed here to work. And waking up at dawn as the sun rises over the Annapurna Ranges is a daily ritual to milk his two buffalo. An animal he says is essential for surviving as a rural farmer supporting a large family. And for 10 months, supporting his five children is a little bit easier, with a newly established dairy farm in the small village of Hemjakot, northwest of Pokhara. It is good. Because of it, I'm able to send my children to boarding school and both have given SLS, School Living Certificate, Grade 10. Sin is one of 13 people who walk to this dairy farm and deliver their buffalo milk each morning. The dairy farm is run by Dharma Rasenha, who realised after a recent business trip to Switzerland, there is a gap in the Nepalese market for cattle dairy farms. Milk is uh, before, uh, many milk uh, come from the India. <laughs> so the why not people, if we very interesting and in opening the milk here, and also get job here, the people, money to go to other country. It is reported that over 1,000 young Nepalese are leaving the country a day. And it's businesses like these that are providing hope for a country with an uncertain future. I like to try and I like to uh, suggestion for the Nepali and the, this area. Working here, then also the farmer, also other things. So many possibilities to here. Starting at just a few cows, there's plenty of reasons to move, with now over 20 cows and a handful on the way. Uh, it's still not so uh, big uh, money, not perfect, but I hope I'm try. Aside from the 13 locals who bring their milk each morning, the business hosts four full-time employees. The buffalo milk is sold at a higher price, but this entrepreneur mixes the two milks together, offering a thicker and more nutritious product that is sold to companies in the nearby city of Pokhara. Despite cows being sacred in both Buddhism and Hinduism, the two main religions in Nepal, there is still a high demand for the milk. It's okay to drink, you know. Uh, it gives very uh, much protein, you know. Other also, uh, so uh, it's good for health also. Cow, cow milk. No, uh, we can eat. Yeah. With huge success in such a short time, attention is turning to the next adventure, moving from milk to cheese. <laughs> In Nepal, Hope Wilson, Mojo News.